to the Fox One Corp series of CU training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please check out my website at www.fox1corp.com for all the gliding products that I can supply. The link is posted in the comment section. Please subscribe to this Fox One Corp YouTube channel, and if you have questions, please post them in the comments. In this video, I'll show you how to create a CUB airspace file using CU. All of the LX computers use the CUB airspace format, but in North America, it's typically not available for download. Instead, we need to download the Newport piece or the open air format from the Turnpoint Exchange at soaringweb.org. We've already been on the soaringweb.org site when we downloaded Turnpoints in a previous video. So what we want to do is go to soaringweb.org, select Turnpoint Exchange, in our case, North America. I'm going to go down to the U.S. Table of Contents. And for today, I'm going to work with the uh, Region 5 South Turnpoints from Cordial, Georgia. So we're going to select Georgia. We're going to go to Cordial. And if we scroll down this page, the option we want to select is this third one, Files Formatted for Downloading and Importing into Your Programs. Click on the hand. Scroll down again, and what we can see is airspace is at the top. What I want to do is download the Newport Peace format. The Newport Peace format is the .sua file, and that's the SSA standard. There's a second file here that talks about SSA modifications. That file includes only the A, B, C, and prohibited airspace required by the contest rules. For today, I'm going to work with the full file that includes all the airspace. So to download it, we can click on this download arrow, and then we can save the file and download it. I've already downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel here. We're going to go back to see you, and now we want to add that Cordial airspace into our CU map. We can see Atlanta right here, Macon, and Cordial down here. And we have no airspace in the flying area. So what I want to do is go to Tools, Airspace, and at the very bottom, I want to hit the Add button, navigate to where I saved the Cordial airspace that I just downloaded, open that, and say OK. So now we can see we have the Atlanta Class B, we have the Warner Robins Class D, and various parachute zones and military restricted areas in the task area. So all those show that's still our Newport piece format. And what we need to do now is create a CUB format for the LX computer. To do that, we go up to File, CU Mobile Wizard. This wizard was originally used to be able to transfer information from CU onto your pocket PC running CU Mobile. So the terrain and the waypoints and all the map data, it didn't come prepackaged with CU in the early days. With the UDI, all of that stuff is prepackaged and you don't really need to use this anymore, but it's great for producing a CUB airspace file. So in here, all we want to do is select airspace, make sure everything else is deselected, hit next. We can select a file base name. So this is the name that we're going to add to the file. And it says base name because if we were downloading airspace, waypoints, terrain, elevation, all that data, there'd be four different files, all with the same base name, but with different file extensions. So here I've selected sample airspace 20. I want to select the copy to my computer. You could also select copy to UDI. I want to copy to my computer, and I've already browsed and set up the folder where I want to save it. From here, we'll select next. We get a map screen, and this map screen allows us to draw this dotted black box around the area that we want the airspace. So we can zoom out with this magnifying glass up in the top corner, and we can zoom in. So the box, we can either drag the corners of our box. We can also move around, as you just saw, the same way we do on the main map screen with these big arrows, top and bottom and in the corners of the screen. So 
what I want to do is I want to select this box so it covers the Cordial airspace. And so the box is already there. I can drag it using the normal grips on uh, any of the windows that we're allowed to move. So I can move it around like that if I want. I'm just going to zoom out here so we can see it a little bit better. Or I can draw a new box by starting in the bottom right corner, left clicking, and just drawing a box around the area of interest. So we have that. I'm just going to move this down. Oh, we'll move that up. To cover all the Cordial airspace. We have that. So everything inside this box is going to be written to the airspace file. So I'm just going to select next. And it's going to go through the process of creating that file. Click finish. It writes the file to the disk. So now what I want to do is go back to tools and airspace. I'm going to deselect this SUA file. Oops, not that one. The Cordial SUA file. And if I say OK, we can see all the airspace is gone. And so now what I want to do is confirm that the cub file was written properly. So I'm going to add, navigate to where I stored it. So there's my sample airspace 20 cub file. I'm going to open it, say OK. And we can see that all the airspace is back into the uh, Cordial task area. So that's the simplest way to create a CUB airspace file for use in your LX computer. So I hope you've learned something new about CU today. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section, and please visit me on the web at www.fox1corp.com.